Understanding the supply and logistics key figures in the supply dashboard in Insight. In this presentation, we will look at the organization and layout of information for the supply and logistics key figures located in the supply dashboard. We will also look at how easy it is for you to customize your searches and to retrieve the information that you need from these supply and logistics figures. This will better help you interpret and report on your supply activities. When you access the supply dashboard in Insight, the supply and logistics key figures for regions appear below the Supply Key Figures tab in the main header menu. The supply and logistics key figures provide a comprehensive overview of the value of procurement, inventory, and dispatches for a selected period, and it is updated on a daily basis. Supply and logistics key figures in the supply dashboard offer a quick and easy snapshot of current supply activities. The report provides staff with up-to-date information on the procurement of supplies and services and the status of controlled inventories. At any given time, the supply and logistics key figures indicate how much the country office has procured, how much stock it moved, and how much is in its inventory. The available data also simplifies the preparation of the country office annual report as staff no longer have to manually generate vision reports on the different aspects of supply activity. Let's see how this information is organized. The first thing to recognize is that the information displayed addresses three related aspects of the supply activity. Think of these three perspectives as having an overview of the total value of your procurement, the total value of goods and services received, and the total value of supplies moving through your controlled warehouses. Let's look more closely at each one. The total value of procurement performed by the office, including on behalf of other country offices. You should note that the total value of procurement is broken down into two subtotals, with the associated details. The subtotals are highlighted by the gray boxes. The total value of procurement actioned by the office in the given period is the sum of these subtotals. This includes what the office has procured itself, but also what it may have procured on behalf of other offices. In the case of Angola, it had not procured anything on behalf of another country office, so the report shows no data in these fields. However, in the case of Ethiopia, it has procured on behalf of other offices, and it is reflected in its breakdown. By adding up the two subtotals, you have the overview figure of the procurement actioned by your office. The total value of the supplies and services procured to be received by the office. This is further broken down into four subtotals. The value of programmatic supplies, of operational supplies, of services, and of international freight. For your convenience, Notice that programmatic supplies are further distinguished by those channeled through program funding, those channeled through procurement services funding, and those funded by GAVI. 
The appearance of the value of the international freight gives you the complete and immediate picture as it relates to the value of supplies received. Thirdly, the total value of supplies managed by the country office and moving through its controlled warehouses is available. It shows the value of the existing inventory, whether this is related to the holding of emergency supplies for prepositioning or other supplies related to regular programs. It also shows the value of dispatches from any controlled warehouse at the time of the report. Now that you understand the organization of information, let's look at some navigation pointers. By default, data is displayed for regions on the Supply and Logistics Key Figures page. To view the data for your country, click on the corresponding region. The country names appear in the top header of the spreadsheet. The corresponding country data appears below in the vertical column. This is the information for that country office for the specified reporting year. You may wish to filter the information for your individual country. To do this, you may use the Parameters menu. By default, you will notice that all countries are selected in the Parameters menu. Uncheck the Select All option and then select the country of interest and apply your query. In this example, we have refined our search for Peru. The report displayed is for the specified reporting year and captures any vision data that is present for this country office with regards to the three aspects of the supply activity. First, the total value of procurement performed by the country office. Second, the total value of supplies and services received, and third, the total value of supplies managed through the country office's controlled warehouse or warehouses. At the top of each page in blue, the Actions drop-down menu will allow you to conveniently download, print, export, and share the report in a number of formats. Select the option that is most relevant to you and your needs. This brings us to the end of this video. Let's recap. In this short video, we presented the kinds of information available in the Supply and Logistics Key Figures in Insight, how the information is organized, how to navigate across the different views, how to customize your search in the dashboard, and how to filter, print, export, and share reports. As with other modules, the Supply Dashboard in Insight has automated the extraction and reporting on key data points for UNICEF staff. The Supply and Logistics key figures, seen in this example, provide a comprehensive overview of procurement, inventory, and dispatches. For more information, go to the Yammer Group Supply in Insight.